Hello everyone. In this video, I show you how to display data with a SARF table. And then double click a row to call up a transaction. We can then use data from the clicked line to fill in a field of the call transaction. To do this, we will define a local class and implement a method. I have already prepared some code here, precisely the SARF table code. And I have already shown how to create this code step by step in one of my former videos. And I link it here on the top right. Now, a short recap of the current code. First, we, we, we have the declaration of the variables. We have an internal table here. Then we read some data to the internal table. Then we create a Starf object and pass here the data with the internal table. Then we have uh, the function uh, line. We optimize the columns. We set the header and so on. So if we run this code, we see here uh, our SARF table with the code. And what we want to do now is if we do a double click on the line, we want to call a transaction. And for this, we start with the declaration of the local class. We do this after the declaration of the variables. And so we write here class lcl events definition public section class methods on double click or event if sarf events actions table and double click off the class cl sarf events table importing row and column. and class. Ready print. So that means if we do a double click, we get the row number and the name of the column. Next, we write the class implementation. So we write class LCL events implementation and method on double click and method and end class. And if we do the double click, we should jump directly here in this method. And so we write here in breakpoint to check this. And next we have to create an event object. We do this here. We write O events type ref2 CL Sarf events table. Next, we have to set this events object. O events equals O sarf get event.
In the next line, we set the handler, set handler, lcl events, on double click for events. Okay, pretty print. And with this, this code should work. So we, we activate the code. Okay, there's an error. Let's have a look. There is no interface with this name. Okay, uh, it's not action, it's actions. There is a S missing. Okay, activate again. Okay, another error. Okay, uh, okay, um, I forgot here the start of selection command before we read the data. Start of selection. Okay, so activate again. Looks good, and let's run the code. And we do uh, the double click here. And we see the debugger is starting and we are here in our method. And now let's have a look to, to the parameters row and column. And we see it's row number five and the name of the column is city two. Okay, that works. So go back to the code. So the method is called and so we can call a transaction in this method. So let's delete the breakpoint here and right here call transaction. And I use here the transaction SE11 without authority check. Okay, let's activate. Run the code again, double click, and the transaction is called. Okay, that works. So go back. And uh, the next step is we want to read the data of the clicked row. And we know the index with the row number. So we declare a local structure of the table as fly. So I write data ls sp fly type sp fly. And now we read the internal table with the index of our row. So read table it sp fly into ls sp fly index row. So I write here a breakpoint again to check if the structure is filled with the data of our line and activate and let's run the code. So I do a May do a double click here on the Tokyo line, and I uh, the row index is four. And now let's have a look to the structure, and we see here the data of the double clicked line. Okay, then and we see the transaction is called. So we go back to the code and uh, now I want to call the transaction and I want to fill uh, an input field of the transaction. For example here, SE11, we have some input fields here and if we click in one input field and press the key F1, then technical information and we see here a field called parameter ID. 
and this is uh, with the name DTB. And this parameter ID, we can, uh, we can set this parameter ID before we call the transaction. And so we write here set parameter ID, then the name of the parameter ID, it's DTB field. And now I use, I use a field of my structure, for example, the, the column city from. So I write ls sp fly and the column field city from. Activate the code and run. So city from is Rome. So if I do a double click here, we should see the string Rome in the input field for the table. Double click and we see here the string Rome. So we go back and click on Tokyo and last San Francisco. Okay, that works. And yes, that was it already. If you liked the video, I would be happy if you give me a thumbs up. You can also leave me a comment. Also uh, subscribe to my channel. I would be happy and I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Thank you and see you soon.